Welcome back to the channel guys. Today Toyota has just really let go all of their envision on how they're going to be putting together uh, all the all their EVs from the smallest vehicles to the most powerful luxury vehicles. I'm really really my mind's blown because I wasn't expecting this in any regard. I'll see you on their side and let's get into it. Okay, before I jump into the article, we will probably be learning this information more in depth at the Tokyo Motor Show as they unveil kind of their EV plans, but getting it a week early is like Christmas to me. So let's jump on over to this article by Europe Automotive News. How Toyota will make its new EVs. Oh, I'm so excited. Many of you know that uh, I've already made a video, so many videos on the upcoming ETNGA platform. It's going to be really exciting. Um, and they are going to be sharing it with maybe some other Japanese automakers as well. But anyways, back to this article, it's going to be flexible as we know. Um, there's a lot of different things they can do with it. It's like a Lego car, essentially. Uh, you modify everything around you essentially pick the battery, the battery size, that dictates the length of the middle part of the car. And then you can stick a motor in the front, a motor in the back, and then also add on space in front of those motors for additional cargo. So lots of things that they can do. It's pretty much like a plug and play. This is the future of automotive vehicles and it will allow them to really increase their profitability because it makes everything so simple. Everything's just gonna connect together literally like Legos. And then they just say the idea is to mix and match these building blocks, AKA Legos, into different body types. It'll support rear wheel drive, front wheel drive, all wheel drive layout. So, so far, nothing really new has been dropped on us in this article, but hey guys, guess what? This is game changing, at least in terms of the knowledge we had going into this article. Batteries will range from the 50 kilowatt hours to 100 kilowatt hours, okay? So that's essentially Tesla's range of batteries to give you an idea from their lowest end uh, entry level vehicle, like the, the, the Model 3 lowest range version, to the 100 kilowatts, like the P100D uh, Model S, to give you an example. And this is Toyoshima, who they were inter uh, interviewing. They will be made into two types of motors, small or medium, which is funny, right? Why, why would it be small or medium? You think they probably have some large ones up their sleeve that they're not talking about, which I'm not gonna get too much into. Maybe I'll make a video on that after the Tokyo Motor Show. And we also, so not only do we have the battery capacities here, we have their motor uh, power outputs. And before we jump over to this awesome spreadsheet that I put everything together together to make it a little bit more digestible to you guys, we're going to talk about this and then we'll jump over the spreadsheet. Small EV should achieve a fully charged driving range of 186 miles, 300 kilometers. For larger vehicles such as an Envision crossover, uh, the range could reach 310 to 372 miles. Toyoshima said. Okay, so we'll finish up the article in a little bit. We're gonna hop on over to this right here. This is state-of-the-art uh, Google Sheets <laughs> that I plugged in some hypotheses here to give you guys a really good idea um, of how they can mix and match these motors, these battery capacities, uh, and, and what kind of range they'll give you. Uh, based off this information here, which is in the Automotive uh, Europe news. Okay, we're just gonna start at the top. Okay, this is the kilowatt hours, uh, the ratings, and the potential s different motors. We know that they're going to have small motors and medium motors. We don't know how, how many small types or how many medium types. I'm just giving you guys an idea of some options here. Okay, and we know that the smallest one is going to be an 80 kilowatt hour. Like we know the biggest one is going to be 150. So I filled in these potential other motors here. These are the horsepower that translates to, and that's for each individual motor. And then I have some options down here. You guys probably already read ahead. I would do the same if I were you, but I just want to bring your attention back to battery capacity. Uh, so we have 50 kilowatt hours here, which is the minimum. Uh, and then 100 kilowatt hours, which is the maximum, and then maybe some other capacities that slot in between. Um, and then the miles it gives you. Okay, so 100 kilowatt hour uh, battery is going to give you 372, which they've confirmed that. Uh, and then the 50, they've confirmed fully charged at 186. And then I kind of filled in the gaps here with some different battery sizes. 
And so down below, uh, starting with some of the smaller vehicles we see in the Toyota and Lexus lineup, uh, we could see here like a a simple 100, 120 horsepower front wheel drive Yaris. That's an EV with 223 mile range. Um, let's say the next UX, let's say they get a little bit more um, fun with that. Let's say they give you uh, two small motors. So essentially you have 240 horsepower, um, the same amount of range though, but they'll stick two of these, these motors um, in that UX uh, 300, whatever they call it, the EV version of it. So potentially 200, 240 horsepower with two of these small uh, motors which would give you an all-wheel drive or the yard so obviously we just have half of that as it's more of an economy uh, focused vehicle this rav4 which sells super super well here in the states and i know it does well worldwide uh, we know that a lot of them like to come in all-wheel drive so let's say they put one of the bigger uh, small motor, if that makes sense, the bigger small motors, motor, small motor number three in this scenario, let's say it has 134 horsepower, and then they have a smaller motor in the back for 107 horsepower. So uh, that would give you a total of 244 horsepower uh, with about 280 miles of range. Pretty exciting. And I could definitely see them, it would be much easier for them to <laughs> cater to, uh, in my opinion, the luxury vehicles, because you just slap a more powerful motor or uh, slap a two, an extra motor in the back, um, and you could really, really get some creative here. So let's say this is the RAV4, the 244 horsepower, let's say that's the RAV4 EV, um, but the NX300, you could essentially put two of these small motors in it, uh, front and back, and you'd get, let's say, 270-ish horsepower, uh, which is a nice little bump up. Down here are, would be the Highlander and Lexus RX range or size of vehicles. Uh, to give you an idea, I mean, they could still put, put the smaller motors in there, which uh, knowing how conservative Toyota is, they could probably do that for the Highlander, which I'm not gonna craft that for you. But to give you an idea, the RX would make a lot of sense if they put two of these uh, entry-level medium motors, uh, the, the less powerful the medium motors, which would equal about 334 horsepower and give you 316 mile range. But they could also put in uh, this bigger battery down here if they wanted to with a 372 mile range. So it'll be very interesting uh, and very exciting to get into this new wave of EV plug and play Lego building. It's gonna be so much easier to explain uh, to customers uh, as a salesperson too. And last but not least, this would be like a range topping flagship vehicle uh, that would give us 402 mile oh, sorry 402 horsepower which would put the two of the bigger m motors in there uh, and then 372 miles of range and let's just have a little bit of fun here let's say they do have a large motor or, or a couple large motors waiting to be put into maybe the, the flagship vehicles like the LS or the LX or the LF1 limitless well let's say it's a 175 kilowatt uh, uh, kilowatt motor uh, which provides 234 horsepower per, per motor let's say they also come out with a bigger battery so maybe a 125 kilowatt hour battery which gives you 465 miles that gives you a total if you put two of those motors in there about 468 470 horsepower with 465 miles of range so a lot of fun i could play with this all day i'm probably going to just save this well it's already saved because it's a google sheet automatically saved i'll keep this in mind as we go into the tokyo motor show which is starts on the 24th which at the time of this video is just a couple days away. Let's get back to the article and see what else we can gather from it. All right, so initially Toyota's EVs will run in lithium ion batteries, uh, just like pretty much all the other VAD batteries out there are currently for the EV, EV vehicles. Toyota is also banking on a breakthrough in solid state batteries. That technology promises lighter, more powerful, and safer batteries and could spur demand for for the EVs by giving them greater range. And just like we've heard before, Toyota intends to show evidence of its progress in solid state batteries next summer. Uh, and that should be during the Tokyo, uh, the Tokyo Motor Show. That should be during the Tokyo Summer Olympics uh, next summer in 2020. So what do you guys think? That is some pretty crazy info that just got dropped on us. Like I said, we'll probably get that uh, here in a few days at the Tokyo Motor Show when they unveil uh, the Lexus EV concept and then uh, the EV concept for Toyota is probably more than just one. I'm just 
going to say that. They're probably going to have more than one. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Uh, but what do you guys think? This is pretty cool stuff. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if my my spreadsheet was flawed in any way. I think it, it, it's all conjecture anyways, but um, don't forget to like that button. I'm looking for my Land Cruiser. <sighs> don't forget to hit the like button if you want to support the channel on Patreon. I really uh, appreciate it. it Allow me to really double down on the channel and make better quality vi videos. Uh, and this is the monthly giveaway this month. This old school, as we talk about EVs, right? We got this old school uh, turbo diesel Land Cruiser here that uh, I'll be giving away to my Patreon supporters. But uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out.